So I'm required to round off to the nearest two significant figures. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to count the first two significant figures. And significant figures are counted starting from the left going towards the right. So I'm going to first look for the first two significant figures in this case. When you look at this number, it has three significant figures because all these are non-zero, basing on condition one, which we looked at previously. But out of the three, we are required to round off these three significant figures to only two. So what I'm going to do in this case, I count my first two significant figures. Of course, I said starting from the left towards the right. So two is my first, five is my second. So these are my first two significant figures. After I've identified the second significant figure, I look at the number which is after that second significant figure. If that number is less than five, then I add a zero to this number which I've located. If that number is greater or equal to 5, I add a 1 to the number which I've located in the second, the second significant number. So in this case, my second significant number is 5 and the number after it is 6. Now since 6 is greater than 5, I'm going to add a 1 to the 5. Just like we did when we are rounding off to a particular number of decimal points or decimal places. So because I have a 6 here, I'm going to add a 1 to the 5. So I'm going to have 2, 5, 6. I add 1 to the 5, give me 6. I maintain the 2. Then I replace the 6 with a 0. Now, is this 0 a significant number? The answer is no. Because when you look at the fifth condition which we looked at, we say that all trading zeros in a Non, in a number which has no decimal places, those zeros are said to be insignificant. So maybe this zero is not significant. So when I look at the number of significant figures in this case, I only have two and six, and those are my two significant figures. So I've rounded off 256 to the nearest two significant figures. And proceed to Roman two. I have 0 0.2572 and I'm required to round off to the nearest two significant figures. Now, uh, like I said in the first example, first identify the first two significant figures. Starting from the left, is this zero a significant figure? The answer is no. Because already we say that all linking zeros in a number are said to be not significant. So this zero is not significant. I proceed to 2, of course 2 is a significant number, 5 is also a significant figure. So I've already put in my two significant figures as 2 and 5. After that, I look 2 and 5, after I'm done with that, I look at the number which is after the 5 and that number is 7. Now since 7 is greater than 5, I'm going to add the 1 to the 5, so I'm going to have 0.25. I add the 1 to the 5, the second significant figure. So I'm going to have 0 0.25. 5. Now, what do I do to the 7 and the 2? Remember, we say, now if I replace, if I replace with 0 here and I have 0 0.25, 0, 0. When you look at condition 4, condition 4 is telling us that all numbers, all zeros, in other words, all the trading zeros in a decimal number are said to be significant. In other words, all the zeros that come at the end when I'm dealing with decimal numbers are said to be significant. So if I put a zero here, and I also put another zero here, these two zeros at the end, okay, if I do this, if I replace the seven and the two with the zeros, now these two zeros at the end are going to be significant. Now that means in total I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 significant numbers. And yet the question requires us to find only two significant figures. So what do I do? After I've added the 1 to the 5, I get 6, sorry, it's supposed to be 6. So what I do to the 7 and the 2, I just discard them or I do away with 
I do have work with them. I do not replace them with the zeros because the zeros in this case are going to be significant, which is not the case here because we say in condition five that when the last when the trailing zeros or the zeros at the end of a number which has no decimal point, those that are considered to be not significant. So I'm not going to put the zeros. So my final answer is going to be zero point two six. And these are my two significant figures. So you can look at maybe example number three, which is 15,270. Okay, so I'm going to round off to the nearest two significant figures still. So what do I do in this case? I count my first two significant figures. My first significant figure is 1, the second one is 5. So these are my two significant figures. After doing that, I look at the number after that. So my first two significant figures are 1 and 5. Then the number after 5 is 2. Now since 2 is less than 5, I'm going to add a 0 to the 5, which is the, which is the second significant figure. So I'm going to have this, 270, and I add a 0 to the 5. Ending up with this. Now, what do I do to the other numbers after the 5? I replace them with zeros. So I'm going to replace 2 with a 0, replace 7 with a 0, plus the 0 remains a 0. Now, when you look at this case, the zeros here are not significant. And we looked at this from condition number 5. The zeros here are not significant, which is not the case here when we have a decimal point. But here, since we do not have any decimal points, the zeros here are considered to be not significant. So my final answer is going to be 15,000. So I've rounded off to two significant figures. I proceed to Roman numeral number four. And I have 0 0.00425. And this one requires me to round off to the nearest four significant figures. No, to the nearest one significant figure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for the first significant figure. When you look at all these zeros before, based on condition number, uh, on number three, all these zeros are not significant. So maybe my first significant number in this case is a four. After locating my first significant number, I look at the number next to it which in this case is a 2. Now, since 2 is less than 5, that means I'm just going to add a 0 to the 4. In other words, I do not get any change. So I'm just going to add a 0 to the 4, and it remain like that. Now, remember we said when we are dealing with decimal points or decimal numbers, we do not replace these other numbers after the 4 with zeros. Because if we replace with zeros, the zeros after the 4 are going to be significant. And therefore, we shall have increased the number of significant numbers, uh, of significant figures in that particular number. But in this case, we want only one significant figure, which is 4. I put the number next to it, 2, which is less than 5. So I add 0 here, it remains as 4. So meaning my final answer is going to be 0 0.0004 as my final answer. I do not make these ones to be 0, because when I add 0, 0 here, those two zeros, the trailing zeros, Based on condition number three, are going to be significant. We proceed to Roman numeral number five, eight, seven, five, zero, two, one. And we are going to round off to the nearest four significant figures. So, like we did previously, I count my first four significant fig figures. This is my first one, second one, third. Now, is this zero a significant number? The answer is yes. Because the zero is between five and four. And five and four, based on condition one, five and four are non-zero, and therefore they are significant. So maybe this zero is also significant. So when I'm counting my first four significant figures, the zero is also a significant figure. I have one, two, three, and four. So these are my first four significant figures, stopping at zero. After I've located the last significant figure, I look at the number which is next to it, and the number next to it in this case is a 4. Now, since 4 is less than 5, 
like we're doing previously, I just add a zero to the zero. Of course, zero plus zero remains zero. So I have eight seven five zero because I added zero to this zero, it remains zero. Now, what do I do to the four two and the one? Since this is a number without decim a decimal point, I replace these numbers with zeros. So I replace four with a zero, replace two with a zero, replace one with a zero. Now all these zeros are not significant, based on condition number three. So meaning the only significant numbers I have in this case are eight, seven, and five. So I've rounded off this number, this number to the nearest three significant figures. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening and we shall proceed from there next time.